Had you played the game before you signed on? Before we signed on, no. No. You'd heard about it. I'd heard about it, but I hadn't played it. I'm not really a gamer, so I hadn't had an experience, but... I am really, really good at Mrs. (laughs) Pac-Man. I was really good at Mrs. Pac-Man. I can't even say that I'm good at it now, but I didn't know of the game. Um, I knew who Craig Mazin was and was desperate to work with him. I got those scripts. I read them. And then I just begged him to give me the job, basically. And then the world of The Last of Us opened up to me. And I realized that I had been under its influence in ways I didn't even know since its release in 2013. Mm -hmm. Why are you so important? Somewhere out west. They're working on a cure. I think what really impressed them was the fact that I didn't turn into a monster. If she so much as twitches. (laughs) So how much for both of you did you want to draw from what had been crafted in the game with these characters versus making them your own? I mean, I think a lot of that work was done for us by uh, Craig and Neil. Neil being the creator of the the story of the game and, and Craig being such a huge fan that he together they like really brought the the best of the game into the scripts and um just expanded on what was already there in the game i thought it was really useful to kind of get a tonal understanding of the source material i needed to see what had been done what had been there Mm -hmm. i needed it to inform elements to discover what i could bring to it and also to meet what was on the page and what was already loved by the people that know the game you've come this far then you know what's out there you're not gonna scare us scared him what would your characters be doing and if the outbreak had not happened that's an interesting question it's an interesting question i think she would be She'd be doing hard drugs i think probably (laughs) she'd totally be an outcast like I don't know. She she has has a strong interest in like space and the moon, but I don't know if that's just because like that's all she really. What if the outbreak mm-hmm. and the 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 fungal apocalypse is the only thing to have kept Ellie from being a cheerleader? I would think I would go and jump off a <laughs> cliff. <laughs> I think that Joel would have just been a failed musician. Yeah, actually, for a sheep, a sheep ranch. Yeah, I, I feel like he'd have like a a band. Yeah, totally. And he'd keep, and his body would be pretty broken from like working construction. Sarah would be looking after him. Yep. Um, maybe he'd be a grandfather. Oh, this is getting sad. Stop it. <laughs> the darkness is falling. The sky has turned gray. The hound in the distance is starting to fade. What would you guys do in a zombie apocalypse? <clears throat> Cling to each other and cry. Cling to each other and uh, probably, I don't know, not make it. Yeah. <laughs> we would laugh ourselves. I feel like you would, you. though. You think? Yeah, I do. I think I, I, think I might, you know? I think you would be really, I really, really... Uh, yeah, you are downplaying it. I, I, I feel like you could... And maybe I'm down, downplaying it, or maybe... I, the thing is, is that I haven't developed any skills in my middle age. So I feel like there's no, nothing I've really like, you know, I haven't developed anything outside of opinions. I can think of a lot of skills <laughs> that you have. Yeah. Yeah. Like conversational skills. <laughs> right. Well, you can't really talk to cannibals and uh, infected uh, fungal uh, uh, mutated h- human bodies. <laughs> nice. Do you see all the different ways I avoided the word zombie? Good job. They're going to be pleased with that. 